Okay. This is a 2014 three horse, eight wide, with a 17 foot short wall. And we'll take you around right on the other side. We'll show it has a mega slide in it. This is this is new for 2014. You can see it has the, I believe that's a 20 foot awning on it. Uh, all your appointments are on black in this particular trailer. 14 ply radio tires, stainless steel simulators. You've got your swing down camper stepped here. I'll show this to you. Really neat feature. I'll show you something else I think is a neat feature as well. Well, this this side here, most most of your of your interiors are going to have a camper door that you got to fool with all the time. This one does not. You just have to open this door, and then if you decide you want to start using your screen door, you slide it out. Operates and works really, really slick. It, it is a real nice concept on this particular trailer. We we'll walk around here in the front, and I'll show you this. You've got your aluminum battery box. Your dual propane tanks, 14 ply radial spare, a place to haul your sewer line here, and your your dual uh, hydraulic jacks. Uh, this is classed in all aluminum trailer, uh, but if you'll notice the uh, the hitch on this trailer from here all the way back underneath your neck, this is all steel. Now all aluminum trailers all will have steel in it. This one here. They put more in it, just makes the neck of this trailer a lot stouter than most of them out there. And I, to me, that's that just goes the extra distance. All your uh, steel is sprayed with a uh, rubber bed lining type uh, uh, protection on it, so you know, it's three years old, it's not a rust bucket. Back in the trailer, if you notice, has LED lighting, high and low, that's your brake lights. Really good safety feature. Then you have LED lighting on the top, and then your small LED lighting for your marker lights across the back and across the end down the side as well. One key. One key takes the entire horsepower of the trailer. Your cam lock at the bottom. Most of them have the little handles here and the post in the middle. But this has got your cam lock. So it's, it's more like a professional locking system. High and low. All hinges are permanent glue. If they're not permanent, they have grease fittings on them. Spiders are all spring, spring loaded, simple to operate. And the shoulders of your divider, your horse is not going to come here and knock the shoulder out of place. Removable stud divider works real good for mud room. A, here's a real neat thing. You know, with the, with the half of this turn being 7.6 and the roof of this turn being insulated, it makes this turn much cooler. And here's something that, that Merkow does and do it standard. All the dividers and all your head shields are flow through. So the air comes through the front to the back, right on to the back horse, right out, and right out the, the large rear windows here behind the horses. Major, major deal on this trailer. A major deal. Uh, let, let's walk around the front end of this trailer too. Notice up here, the horse compartment's air conditioned in this trailer. Now I understand your horses don't need air conditioning, but when you're in a trail ride and it's a hundred degrees and you're hooked up, you know you're you're already paying for the electric. You can leave your air conditioning running, and you can put your pets back here in the back. You can. Um, you have unexpected guests, grandkids that show up and want to stay all night. You can use the back end of your trailer for that. And I just kind of brought that to your attention. We bring that that standard on, on the Murhau trailer as well. Okay. You have swing out blanket bars here that are really, really handy. Everything, your, your, your tack wall is all carpeted, so you're not going to hang your bridles and all these things on these walls and mar the walls up on it. You're going to come here. You're going to have a carpeted interior wall. Saddle racks are removable. And the wall is collapsible. And now this particular chair doesn't have a generator, but one head already had pre-wired. So it's already set here. If you decide you want to add a generator, 
it's not a big deal to do this. It's already it's already equipped on this trailer. I, I mean, it's just full of really neat features. If you step around here, okay, you're gonna see really nice size manger doors. You're gonna see really large drop down feed windows, feed doors. But the neat feature about this trailer is all these doors are made in house. They're not, they don't call different companies, hey, just make us this door, the door shows up cheap. These are really good doors. I mean, you can see, I'm putting pressure on this door trying to flex it. Very little flex. The release is down low. Good stout window, the same way. All handmade, custom made. These bars. These are all made in-house. They're all shop bars. Most of these are little bit like pencils as far as drop-down doors. This deal right here, good solid doors. I mean, there was some time and labor went into the safety for your horses. Same deal. This trailer is also equipped with a fold-down camping step. And we put a camper lock on it here as well. So when you go in behind this, you just deadbolt it behind you. You don't have to come out behind and lock this down. If you're camping, you just pull this around, drop this down, and it's done. Just lock the door behind you. Another good safety feature and a drop down door in this. Now we talked about this mega slide. It's the largest slide in the business. They call super slides 12 foot. This is a 13 foot and it's four foot deep. So the slide is massive, and you'll see when we go inside how well built this is. It's all push button, simple to operate, lunar frame, lunar floor. Uh, we're going to try to put this up underneath the trailer so you can actually see the floor. It has a brace every one inch underneath your animals. There's nothing like it on the market. We're going to try to show you what this floor is made of. Keep the fingers off, off the lens. I mean, look at this. There is nothing like it on the market. Hey, welcome to Cowtown. Just thought I'd take a few minutes here with you, explain this uh, trailer that we that we got, horse trailer we got from her house. This particular trailer is three horse. It comes in three, four, five, even two. It's eight wide has a 13 foot mega slide, the biggest slide in the industry, 13 feet, 4 feet deep. And we'll show you, we'll show you the slide as well. Yeah, this is a company that's been around, uh, I think in the spring they'll be 58 years old. So they the longest running existing horse trailer manufacturer in, in North America. And you know, when you're in business that long you learn a few things. Uh, the company has, has built a trailer, built it right. Uh, they've learned that, that you can build a trailer, make a little bit on it, and sell a lot of them. And that's kind of what this what they're doing here. The quality uh, inside this this uh, the camper of the trailer is is built by a company called uh, called uh, Sierra. And they've been doing this. I forget how many hundreds and hundreds they build a year, but do a good job. You know, this particular trailer. It's got a really nice flat screen TV. I forget what the dimensions is, but it's but it is the bigger one of the bigger TVs. We went ahead and opted for the fireplace in it. You know, it's it's a deal. Visually, it really looks nice. The uh, it'll also blow heat. So if you run out of propane, you've got good backup electric heat. Or if you're plugged in, you're paying the people twenty five dollars a night or whatever it is for the electricity. You can shut your propane off and use strictly the. Uh, the electric heat, the electric fireplace. You know, and visually it really looks nice. Uh, this is a tiger type uh, design on the on the on the uh, uh, tabletops. Uh, the turret comes with with two tables. Uh, you know, we'll, and we'll show you some of this. Uh, show you the dinette. Uh, just kind of walk you through the trailer. This is a burgundy. And it is a uh, an alligator print. When you get up close to it, you can actually see the alligator print in it. We'll show you that. It also has real alligator, a real crocodile. Thinks what what it actually is. We'll show you that as well. Uh, you have uh, 
Here you get your stereo system, your DVD player. Real nice place to keep your DVDs, your CDs. Just pull up, slide them in or out. You have storage up here for your for all your controls. The woodwork is is really really nice. It's kind of a walnut color in here, which which does look very very nice. Uh, we did the uh, the his and her and his and her uh, as far as um, entryway. You know if you're if you're up in a bunk at three o'clock in the morning, nobody wants the other one waking up trying to because you gotta you gotta run t and use the utilities. You know, so it's an easy way, easy in, easy out. You can see how simple it is to operate. Climb here. Same way here. If you go to get out, it's then you slide in, slide out. You also have storage underneath. Access to your water lines as well. So it works out real well. You can see you have, and if Sean will fan up inside there, you'll see it. In your, in your, uh, you have more cabinets up over your bed. It's all soft touch walls. It's all soft touch ceilings. I'm just going to bring in here so you can see the mood lighting. Then you have your lights up by your head, your reading lights, and then lights here at your feet as well. I mean, it's just a, it's just a re really nice feature for this, for this camper. take you back here we'll show you some other things. Alright, we're going to show you how the couch makes into a bed. It is, it operates that simply. Now, there's not a water tank to store underneath here, so you have access to all, everything underneath this. Just pull that back, fold that down, and then you've got your nice big drawers here as well. A lot of storage. This is real crocodile on, on the brown part of, of your couch. This is real crocodile on the back side of your couch of this wrap around dinette. You have seating here and seating here, plus you have seating across the back. You, you very rarely see this, but this is often. This is a 48 inch deep dinette, so you have a lot of room to be, set, to, to be seated here. Then you also have your extra lighting here as well as this other side. I'll turn it on as well. So lots of lighting, a lot of storage, all the way across. Now there's storage, uh, there's storage as well, it's underneath your your kitchen dinette. Raised up so it's lots and lots of storage. You know, we'll show you here all the appliances are stainless steel. Your stove is recessed, it's stainless steel as well. You fold this up. Then all of your uh, your monitoring system for your full water tanks are all right here. Now, if you want even more, you have even more set up here as far as your uh, cabinet space. Push this. This the same way. Fold it down right out of the way. It's all done. And buckskin on the back side of your balances is still done with the burgundy which is I mean really it's just stunning when you walk in here it's, it just really catches your attention that everything is soft touch your walls your ceiling your ceiling is buckskin all soft touch your air conditioning is ducted but you can flip this switch right here and your air will come straight out here for you you've got uh, I think up here over the bunk we've got uh, We've got vents right up the too, so there should not be a hot spot in the camper at all. We got a six cubic foot refrigerator with a freezer on the top, and notice again the raised wood panel doors on your refrigerator. So the, the fit and finish is, is really good. It's something I think that you would really enjoy. Uh, let me see here, what else we're going to talk about here? The long mirror, this is all standard. We, we, about everything in this trailer we're talking about is just standard. We haven't, we haven't spent a lot of money to, to really upgrade this trailer. It's pretty much all standard. We walk back here in the bathroom. We'll show you this as well. You've got 
a nice big closet here, hanging closet, plus you have another table. That table sits in front of your couch. And I'll show you this. I think that you'll enjoy this. If you should blow a fuse, which nobody wants to blow a fuse, but if you should, you come here. Now let's say if you pull this fuse out, pull this fuse out right here, this fuse is blown. You'll have a light come on so you're not running all which one and have to pull all these fuses out. You can find out immediately which fuse is bad. I thought that was a really neat feature. And I just noticed this as well. You automatic light in your in your closet. It's got a nice big hanging closet that the closet's probably 36 inches deep, runs all the way back in the corner. So this would be a feature. It's kind of like your refrigerator. Does that light go off when you close it? It does. It does. I'll let Sean turn around here so he can just kind of show you how. The frosted glass, that's a lot better than a clear glass, I can tell you. That clear glass shows up every little bubble, every little lime streak. This, this is a lot nicer setup for you. And again, it's all trimmed into burgundy. I mean, you, this trailer will not embarrass you any place you take it. it is, it's just absolutely gorgeous. You have your vent up over the top. You can see where the burgundy and stuff, where your burgundy soft touch meets that, that or that buckskin soft touch and that burgundy meets and the contrast that to, to is really, really, really pretty. So you kind of spin that around there and see that. And it's just it's just absolute first class guys. Step back here. You know most of these are gonna have just a white door. They went ahead and finished the trim out on the door, which looks really nice. A place to hang your hang your towels as well. Okay, so we're gonna walk back in this these. <laughs> You notice you're sitting. I'm, I'm sitting here at this bar, at this bar, and, and this trailer comes with with bar with a set of bar stools with it. I just, I mean, it's just really comfortable. It's really convenient when people come. And I know you want a trail ride, but there'll be times when it's raining or snowing or it's just too hot. Or after you, after you've done all the above, you come in and you've got folks come over. And it's just really neat to be able to slide these chairs out and have that extra seat. As you can probably see in this camper. Three there, five there, there's eight. I mean, you can probably seat 10 people in this camper really easy. And if someone wants to sit on the steps over here, you can probably put a dozen people in here and not be crowded with it at all. And just the, I mean, to me, this is one of the prettiest trailers that I've ever seen. But now I like the colors, you know. And if you don't like the colors, you, you know, we can change the colors. We can order you exactly what you want. But this has been, uh, I mean, we've ordered two of these and sold uh, two or three of them already just in this color, so it's going to be popular. Uh, if you get one, you're not going to be the only one out there to like it, I can tell you that. I'm going to show you this too. Most trailers, when you, when you get them, when you go in and out of these doors, you have a screen door can, to continue with all the time you go in or out. Okay, well, the way this one is set up, There, you can use your screen door when you want it. I mean, just like now, it's snowing, there's ice on. What do you want a screen door for? But all winter, all spring, all fall, you have to contend with that. With this, you don't. You know, it's just a, just another convenience. And again, the real nice finished door matches your interior. Uh, the wiring is heavier. I forget what the gauge is, but the wiring is fifty. It's 50 gauge? 50, 50 amp wire or 50 amp. It's a 50 it's amp, amp service. service. Okay. And and the wiring is heavy, heavier to go with this. The the uh, one piece aluminum roof is heavier too. Whereas this hail, you know, it's just it's just feature after feature like this. I mean, there, I've not found anything about this trailer that I think that you would not like. Uh, the convenience of the his and her steps, the fireplace, uh, 
the real nice flat screen TV. What is there? What is there about this trailer that there wouldn't be like? And they're priced right too. Here's another thing about this trailer: eight-year warranty. Now, a lot of companies give you eight or ten-year warranty, but the eight or ten-year warranty will be on the main frame of the trailer. These guys warrant this trailer for eight years. We're talking about your doors, your feed doors, your manger doors, your dividers. Everything that this company makes, that Merhow makes, carries an eight-year warranty on it. And then they put the best axles in it. Called, they're called Dexter axles. When they do this, uh, the Dexter axle is a never lube or never adjust the brakes. I mean, you, you just buy the trailer and, and use it. Now, nobody else is offering that. And here's another thing about using Dexter. Dexter is a really, and I'm going to use the word common, uh, and I don't mean that to, to, to speaking down to it, but if you break down any place in the United States and you need part, Dexter parts, you'll have them that day. If you break down with a lot of these trailer companies, you may be there a week before they specially and they special fly parts into you because Dexter, Dexter is kind of like Chevy, GMC, Ford, or Dodge. You know, they're, they're just there. They're every place. And these other axle companies will be more like uh, uh, Subaru or, you know, not to say that they're not good axles, but you to, if you need parts for them, they're just going to be harder to get parts for them. Not so with Dexter. And that's the foundation of this trailer. Anyway, I'll get off here and, and quit and and I've showed this to you. I, th I think I've been honest with you and showed you everything that I like. I think you probably saw some things in the trailer that, that I didn't see that you even liked even better. But just give us a call at Cowtown USA, Cuba, Missouri. It's Cowtown USA, Cuba, Missouri at 573-885-6300. 573-885-6300. And ask for Robert or Sean or Rick. Any, any three of us would be glad to help you. Thank you, guys.